Hey guys, it's David here from One Step at a Time and today we're going to be talking about how to format your SD cards to FAT32. Um, at the moment, I know there's people out there who uh, like to use the command line, prompt for it to do this, but um, the problem is with Windows it only does this up to 32 gigabytes, it won't let you, you'll get to about 90% and it'll say it's failed. Um, I didn't see any work around this, but when I got downloaded this tool, it works perfect for the job. So uh, let's get going. You can download it from CNET or you can download it from its um, own site. And the software is called Easy US. Easy US. And it's Partition Master Free Edition, okay? And if you're in their site in here, all you have to do is click on Download Manager. And when it takes you to this page, you could just go to Partition Manager. And then you're looking for this, Easy Partition Man Master Free. And you can click the download. Or alternatively, if you don't like downloading it from main sites and you'd like to do it from a trusted source, you can go to CNET. And you can come in here and you can click the download. As I'm doing this video, it's version 10.2 I'm using. And it's for Windows and it'll work on, um, as far as I know, Vista 7 and Windows 8. Um, so just download it, uh, follow the, it'll ask you if you want to buy it, that's entirely up to yourself, but for what you're doing, if you're only going to use it once, I suggest just using the free version, but that's up to yourself. And um, once you get there then, it'll be on your just allow it to create a desktop icon and it's this is it here now the next thing you need to do is get your little disk and pop it into your disk drive uh, wherever that may be on your computer and I just have to say now you have to make sure when you're running this that you pick the drive the exact drive you don't want to wipe out your C drive or do anything mad like that so I just want to say if you do anything like that can't be held responsible for it I can't believe you have to say that anyway but um, you do so I'm saying it just make sure you have chosen the right drive I'll go through everything with you I'm going to I've already partitioned the drive I showed you at the beginning of the video so I'm just going to use another one to show you the steps and um, I suppose let's get to it so I'll just plug in my drive <coughs> And then I'll just show you here. If I go into my go into my documents, I'm just going to go into my computer. You'll see here that my SD card is on my G drive. So that's very important to remember. There's your C drive. There's your D. There's your E drive. Okay, your F drive for your DVDs and stuff. But just remember that it's the G you're after, or whatever yours comes up as. It could be different on your machine, but it's definitely the SD, so make sure you pick this one. So I'm just showing you that, so I'll close that down. Just minimize that. And we're just going to go into Easy as Partition Master. Click a second to load. And then you just want to double click in here. Okay, when it opens up, you'll be on this screen here. Now, there's an awful lot of stuff in here. Half it I wouldn't have a clue about. That's not why we're here. It's this G drive. These are the rest of your drives in. You don't want to worry about that. It's this one here. And we want to have that, as it's shown at the moment, saying it's FAT16. That's just, if it was the other one, it'd probably be um, NTFS. So whatever's coming up, it doesn't really matter. You just right click on that with your mouse until it's highlighted. And then you want to go down and say format partition and just click format partition and then you can just you can call it um i usually just call it um external drive um dash there and um file system just at the drop down box click on fat32 and this option here, because of the, the type of disk I'm formatting, it, it um, 
won't look like yours you'll have an option here usually it's like 30 kilobytes comes up here for the cluster size um i do tend to choose 64 but um i'm just going to leave this the way it is for the moment because i'm not too worried about this drive anyway it's only an old one i had lying around but just make sure that you name it whatever you want uh, the file system you have to have a fat 32 this cluster size usually for those bigger ones the 64 gigabytes usually 32 kilobytes i normally use the drop down menu 64 and then just click okay no let's put in the form of partition g as fat and the same pending operations over here that's it hasn't done anything yet you need to apply that so you have to come up here to apply click apply and then it says one operation currently pending apply the change now and you just say yes you don't need to shut down your computer because you can remove this afterwards just say yes and as you can see it's the only thing um only takes a few uh it only takes a few seconds really it's almost 30 seconds there we go and you're done uh, anyway i'm going to close that i'm just going to show you when i go in here now when i go to my computer and I go on to this, right click, and then choose properties. It's showing me here that it was FAT16, as you've seen in the video, and now it's a removable disk, and it's file FAT32. And it tells you how the, much capacity is in it, and that's it, guys. I uh, hope you liked the video. If you did, uh, hit the like button, and subscribe if you want, and I'll see you in the next video. Good luck, bye.